now for Night Courts. PayPal facing a class action lawsuit tonight from several customers who say the online payment service unlawfully froze their funds without any explanation and eventually just took the money out of their accounts. The suit was inspired by poker player Chris Moneymaker, who claims he had $12,000 from his fantasy football league entry fees placed on hold. Now, he says he was preparing to sue, but then PayPal returned his money so he could not be part of this class action. PayPal says this is all spelled out in the user agreement. So let's bring in tonight's Legal Eagles. Criminal defense attorneys Andel Brown and Brian Claypool. Gentlemen, welcome back. Hi, Shannon. Good to be here. We start with uh, Exhibit A. This is from the complaint. Defendants offer no reasonable way, meaning PayPal, for users to challenge their actions or to obtain any due process from the defendants, PayPal. As noted above, defendants routinely act without first contacting the user in question or allowing them any opportunity to explain or dispute whether the activity is in violation of the acceptable use policy. Brian, I'm reading these stories over and over again. These people claim that their money was frozen and then eventually just zapped and they couldn't get anyone to answer their questions or, or to make their case. <laughs> well, boo-hoo, wow. Sounds awful, doesn't it? Sounds like PayPal stealing everybody's money. But this isn't PayPal, it's PayPal for these gamblers. If they looked at what's called an acceptable user policy, Shannon, you have to read it and then you take your finger and then you click it and say, I read this and understood what it is. Well, what does it say? It says that if you do something against the policy of PayPal, one of the policies is you can't set up, you can't pay money through PayPal for a gambling reserve, which is what they were doing here, then you are subject to a penalty. What's a penalty? Well, I believe it's $2,500. It's what's called liquidated damages. That's not some phantom term. That's a legal term that says that PayPal's determine what your damages are. What are the damages? Well, it's for the cost of PayPal to canvas to find people who are breaking the rules. Also, it affects their reputation, so they need some money for that. Mm because PayPal doesn't want to be associated with gambling. And last, PayPal gets charged by some of its licensees when this happens. So those are the damages, and this isn't stealing. Okay. All right, let me get Andel in here. Exhibit B, these are part of the PayPal terms. So you do click off on this when you decide to get involved. Unless the merchant has been approved by PayPal, account holders may not use PayPal to send or receive payments for any form of gambling activities, including but not limited to payments for wagers, gambling debts, and gambling winnings, whether conducted online, in person, or through any other means of communication. And Andel, they say, it's not just about gambling. There can be other ways that they feel like you're violating terms of service, and you've agreed to this. Yeah, and, and that's the tough part, Shannon. You have people where there are no allegations of gambling. You had one of the plaintiffs say that I lost 40 something thousand dollars, not $2,500, 40 something thousand dollars, didn't get an explanation. I was selling yoga clothing. I wasn't doing gambling, and my money's gone. That's the problem. You have other allegations where people are saying they lost more than $100,000, had nothing to do with gambling, didn't get a proper explanation. We've seen people go through it when it comes to social media, where your account gets closed down. You're, you're saying, I didn't violate the policy, show me how. Imagine losing six figures without an explanation, mm. and poof, your money's gone, and they won't tell you what happened. That's what some people are saying they're going through, and that's the problem that we're looking at, and that's why they say they filed this class action suit because they don't want to have their money gone with no due process and no explanation as to what they did wrong. Yeah, you would think that, that PayPal would at least be obligated to give some kind of explanation <laughs> if they were going to take your money away. We're going to follow this case. It's a very interesting one. Uh, Andel and Brian, thank you for making your arguments tonight. We leave it to the jury at home. Thank you. You bet. Thank you, Shannon. All right, some good news. before.